Putin violates the International Criminal Court and visits South Africa. Russia's President Vladimir Putin has visited the Republic of South Africa, despite the international warrant of arrest on his head by the International Criminal Court. The current president of Russia is Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, a politician and former KGB intelligence officer, who was born on October 7, 1952. Putin has held both positions continuously since 1999, president from 2000 to 2008, and since 2012, and prime minister from 1999 to 2000 and from 2008 to 2012. After the fall of the Soviet Union, this man, who has served as president of Russia for a considerable amount of time, promoted Russia to a higher level. Although though he is a charismatic and dynamic leader, some members of his community and the Worldwide Committee do not admire or love him since they see his rules and policies as dictatorial and in violation of human rights. Hello there, welcome. I am James, your host, and you are watching Africa Reloaded. Before you continue to watch this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Many enemies have been made of Russia and its leader, Vladimir Putin, as a result of their foreign policies and acts. Despite being an economic partner to numerous EU nations, Putin has turned against the nations and partners with whom he had previously done business. Why is there such hatred? Why is he being hunted by the ICC? Can the ICC arrest him in South Africa? Continue watching to learn more. Russia launched three military incursions into Ukrainian territory in February 2014. During the Euromaidan demonstrations and the overthrow of Viktor Yanukovych as president of Ukraine, Russian soldiers without insignias seized command of key infrastructure and locations inside the Ukrainian region of Crimea. The Russo-Ukrainian War, which started in 2014, significantly escalated on February 24, 2022, when Russia attacked and annexed areas of Ukraine. Tens of thousands of people have died as a result of the invasion, which also started the biggest refugee crisis in Europe since World War II. The ICC has issued an international warrant for Putin's arrest due to the violation of human rights and the slaughter of civilians. On March 17, the International Criminal Court ICC, issued an international warrant of arrest for Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, the country's president, and Maria Alexeyevna Vovobolova, who has served as the president of Russia's Commission on Children's Rights since 2021 for alleged war crimes in Ukraine, illegal deportations of people, including children, and illegal transfers of people, including children, from occupied areas of Ukraine to the Russian Federation. Putin has defied the ICC and visited South Africa despite having an arrest order out for him. According to the South African presidential spokesman Vincent Magwenya, Russian President Putin was scheduled to visit South Africa in August to attend a BRICS meeting. Thus, this trip appears long overdue. It should be emphasized that these countries have gotten along well with one another since the beginning of time. As the Soviet Union, formal diplomatic ties were established between the two nations in 1942. Both Pretoria and Cape Town are home to Russian embassies and general consulates. Since South Africa has an embassy in Moscow, their relationship is stronger than that of any other country in Africa. I am aware that everyone wants to know if Putin can be apprehended in South Africa by the ICC. First, I'd like everyone to know that since Russia withdrew its signature from the Rome Statute in 2016, it is no longer a member of the ICC and has no jurisdiction there. Putin can be held accountable for activities taken against a party as well as Ukraine, which is not a member but has acceded to the court's jurisdiction since 2014. Would South Africa therefore betray Putin? To stay informed about anything related to this, subscribe Africa Reloaded. I'll keep you informed on every step of this visit. We appreciate your dedication to Africa Reloaded. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and leave comments on our channel. To receive notifications on newly added videos, be sure to click the notification icon.